Hello students, uh, this is going to be a slightly longer recording because we have uh, some documentation work also do, to do at the end of this chapter, at the end of this topic. So go to your Tinkercad. So in the previous class, what we did was we created a traffic light. We created a simple traffic light which does not have any sensors, but uh, we were just trying to switch the colors between red, orange and green, right? So this is... This is kind of a cool project where you can actually make your own traffic light and if you're simulating a city or something, you can use this kind of circuit to put it in your uh, simulation, right? Now, uh, let us go and create a new circuit and I want you guys to name this as 2.4 RGB LED. So before you start RGB or what, what exactly is RGB? Have you ever thought about what is an RGB? They are colors, they are the primary colors, red, green and blue. All together, by using the combination of these three colors, you can actually create millions of colors. Okay, so first let us work on the circuit, then I will go back to the theory part. Okay, so RGB or red, green, blue is an LED. It's a different type of LED where you have in the previous LEDs like this, you have seen that there are only two pins. One is cathode, one is anode. You guys, you guys can see this, right? There are two pins, cathode, anode. But an RGB LED is very different from a regular LED because it has four pins. You see this? This one has four pins out of which one is red, blue, green and it has only one cathode but there are three other terminals so we are going to use this led to create different colors okay so take this led place it anywhere you want i'm going to place it over here okay so the the kind of uh, the rule that the thumb rule of thumb that you need to remember is these pins work well with pin 11 10 and 9 always so the colored pins that is red blue and green works well with 11 10 and 9 so obviously we need a ground i'm going to take a ground and connect it over here make sure that this is good change the color to black once the color is changed you see that there is a cathode right i'm going to take a resistor change the value to 220 ohms and rotate it take it sorry take it and connect it over here this is cathode now you have pin number 11 associated with the red color I'm going to change the color to red from pin 11 I'm going to the red color Good. looks decent okay pin number 10 is obviously going to be blue And goes green from here I placed my breadboard in a way that I'm just creating straight lines but if your breadboard is not right next to your not in this way so you can create anchor points okay please create anchor points and then the circuit is very simple guys the circuit is done so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create this RGB LED light to just blink like a disco light okay so I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete this. Let me make this really big. No. Set pin 365 is what they mentioned, but we have connected it to 11, 10, and 9. Right? So 11, 10, and 9. Alright, 
so set pin 11 10 and 9 to red go to control wait for let's say 0 0.6 seconds or 0 0.5 seconds and then I'm gonna go again pin 11 oh it must be 9 and 10 because it is RGB right it is RBG actually if you see R G is green that is 9 and then comes B so RGB so 11 9 10 same thing 11 9 10 but this time instead of choosing red color let us go for green color and then control wait for 0 0.5 seconds you don't necessarily have to pick these colors the colors are totally up to you but I just want you guys to get a hang of how to use RBG colors or RGB colors or RGB LED 11 9 10 and this time I'm going to choose a blue okay and again wait for 0 0.5 seconds I want to repeat this like maybe 10 times Okay, and start the simulation and you should be able to see RGB RGB right if you want to add more colors to it you can make your co uh, code a little more longer and bigger that's totally up to you but I want to see at least three different things but if you want to go somewhere like purple Put all of your favorite colors it, it really doesn't matter start the simulation you should be able to see the circuit right you're seeing all the four colors you can add up to six eight colors it's totally up to you um, you don't have any limit but I just want you guys to get an idea of how this is done now take a screenshot of this project go to your uh, this one and then insert it right over here oh. put it in fixed position so you can move it and then let's say you want to write it here click enter the topic name is Two can command C. It's two point four. RGB LED. So you see, so far we could complete one, two, three, four, and there is only one more topic that is left, which is divided into two parts, which is relatively very simple if you could complete all of these four without going any errors or if you could fix your errors 2.5 is going to be super easy okay but now what we are going to do is we are going to go to another page we are going to go to another page and then here we are going to write heading 1 again and go to times new roman then write components and their descriptions and their descriptions okay so you know there are certain components that we have used we used a resistor we used leds we used rgb leds in the last chapter so what i'm going to do is I'm going to show you what are these components and we are going to especially talk about LEDs okay components and description so take down what I'm whatever I'm writing and this must be in a normal text times new Roman font size to be 12 a light emitting diode also known as LED 
LED, we, we kept on telling LED, LED, right? LED is nothing but a light emitting diode, also known as an LED. Is a semiconductor, that means it partially sends correct current. Is a semiconductor, is a semiconductor which can emit light when semiconductor which can elect light when current passes through it it is always accompanied with a resistor of values 220 ohms to get the ohms right to get the symbol ohms you need to go to insert special character and search for ohm ohm just click once so you should be able to see this one over here to get this special character you need to go to insert search for special character and look out for ohm ohm a light emitting diode also known as an LED is a semiconductor which can emit light when current passes through it. It is always accompanied with a resistor of value 220 ohms or 1 kilo ohm. To get the same ohm you can simply copy and paste it or you do the same process. In the project we did so far projects an LED has two terminals one is a positive terminal the other one is a negative terminal so I'm gonna write positive terminal anode negative negative terminal cathode positive terminal is called anode negative terminal is called cathode so this is a bullet list right I want to select this and create a bullet list okay so you can create any of this I like this so I'll just create this Positive terminal is anode, negative terminal is cathode. So this is called polarity, like how your magnets have north pole and south pole, this is called polarity, okay. LED polarity has both positive and negative terminals. We connect the digital pins like digital pin 13, 12, 11, D13, D12, D11. We connect that to the positive that is anode. We connect digital pins to the anode and a resistor and with a resistor the cathode is always connected to the ground or GND that's the short form This is an LED. We are talking about an LED. And RG now the next LED that we used is an RGB LED is slightly different from a regular LED because it has four pins. because it has four pins and three
three pins signifies each color along with uh, cathode terminal and the cathode terminal okay in rgb led we have a common anode which is usually the digital pin and the rest of the pin signifies each color and are grounded with through a resistor every time a cathode is connected and it is connected to the ground and through a resistor so let us see how this one looks like so for me to add the images i need to zoom out a little bit sorry and here i want to add an image of an led okay so insert image upload from the computer search the web so i'm going to search for led terminals you see this is a perfect image but when i place it here it makes it it makes it look really really big and it spoils my complete structure so first thing i'm going to reduce the size of this one we don't want this big but before you reduce the size of this one click over here in front of the text okay and once you click in front of the text it goes down and we will not be able to see it the second thing fix position on page click that now reduce the size I want to reduce the size a little bit more. It's dramatically big. So always remember, if you have not you touched or seen an LED, you can easily recognize by seeing the LED. The longer terminal is anode, the shorter terminal is cathode. The longer terminal is anode, the shorter terminal is cathode. Please remember that. All right. So this is perfect for an LED. The next image that I want to put it is an RGB LED. again go here insert image search the web search for rgb led no not even a single image is there ha ah, it looks something like this this is a perfect example for an rgb led again this is too big move with text fix position on page i want this to be somewhere over here and let us reduce the size a little bit and keep it over here the top one is an regular led the bottom one is an rgb led these are the two components that we used we'll talk about resistors in our next topic after we complete uh, 2.5 i'm going to give you a brief idea of what is voltage current resistance and who are responsible for uh, discovering these or coming up with these and how did we come up with the values or units for uh, these um, voltage current and resistance and what is ohms law so that all we'll learn at the end of the top at the end of the chapter 2 okay so now you've been using an led you've been using an rgb led so these are the two important things let me check if i have another appropriate image which shows what is an rgb led I'm just using the keyword, so I'm just seeing if I find anything which is like an RGB LED. If not, this is fine. You will get an idea of that. The the here in RGB LED, the longest one is the cathode. This one must be connected to the resistor, and the, the resistor must be connected to the ground. the rest of the things are red green and blue okay with this we are going to stop this chapter and then we are going to go for the final topic that is 2.5 thank you guys